everyone and thank you for joining us for Tuesday's tip. My name is Julie Johnson and these tips are brought to you by Vine Images. Welcome to week number 32. This is a fresh new year guys. This is our first Tuesday's tip of 2012. We just wanted to welcome you if you're new to Tuesday's tips. If you have any tip requests, please email them to vineimages at hotmail.com. And if you are a subscriber on YouTube, you are going to want to join our Facebook page, which is www.facebook.com uh, forward slash Vine Images Inc. Anyways, today we're going to have fun in Photoshop. I'm going to teach you my favorite tool. So right now we're going to go on into the uh, digital darkroom and uh, I'll see you over there in a minute. Okay, so today we are going to be using the liquify tool and you can find this under the filters section in Photoshop. You go to filters and then liquify. So we're going to open up this feature and uh, here you have it. So there's tons of tools on the left hand side. You'll have to play with this um, feature. It's unbelievable. So we're going to show you a couple pregnancy shots and uh, just what you can do with this tool. So we're going to be using the top tool on uh, the left hand toolbar there. It's called the forward warp tool. And um, this just will push things in. It'll bring things in just with the uh, click of your mouse. So right now I'm just finding that the fabric there is just a little bit too, too pulled over to the side. So we're just gonna pull it in. We're gonna bring in her arms just to make them a little bit more thinner. And, um, and here we're just taking her arms in just ever so subtly. Her elbow there, it's a little pointy, so we're gonna bring that up. And um, so when you're pregnant, you carry on a little bit of extra weight. So this tool really makes pregnant women feel absolutely beautiful. We're going to pull down her shoulders there, make it a little bit more um, flattering. And uh, all the magazines do this, guys, celebrities. Don't ever look at a, a magazine and think this is the way that they were photographed. Every single image that you see is, uh, is edited. Um, girls out there too what you're looking at is not real so here we go we're um, we're gonna hit OK and then we're gonna look at the before and after of this image so there you have it here's the before and the after so we've taken down her shoulders taken things in and it just makes it such a more beautiful image just ever so slightly Okay, so we're going to move on to another pregnancy. I've put this in fast motion um, so that you can see exactly what we're doing. So we're just going to pull her in and uh, all around. So as you can see to the right, there's brush size, brush density, brush pressure. Um, you can play with these and figure out what works uh, best for you. So right now the brush pressure is only at 19. It's just very subtle. And... Um, we're just going to pull her in all around here and we're going to make her top a little bit more even. Pull it out just so it, uh, it looks more symmetrical. And um, we're going to pull in her leg there. So this tool is, uh, is unbelievable. It's great for headshots, um, for, um, gosh, anything. Like you will, you will love this tool. So here we're just going to make it so that uh, her leg's nice and even. You don't want any uh, bumps. We're going to move her leg over there so it's straight. And we're just going to pull her belly up just ever so slightly. And there you have it. So we're going to look at the before and after to this shot. So there you go. Beautiful. Okay, so now I'm just going to show you how you can edit bumps in fabric. So if you have a headshot and there's bumps in a suit jacket or bumps in, a, you know, you want to just smooth those out. So here you can just push them in. You can pull the jeans out um, so that the line is nice and straight. So here you have it. Here's the before and the after. It just cleans up your images. Great for weddings. Great for any, any shot that you take. 
Okay, so here we have a photo of my husband and we're gonna be using some of the other tools in here just so I can show you what they can do. He's not gonna be very happy about this. <laughs> but uh, anyways, this is the bloat tool. So you can make someone's eyes huge. I'm sure you've seen um, cats and dogs where they make their eyes really big. This is how they've done it. And uh, it's hilarious. So anyways, that is the bloat tool and uh, there's the pucker tool which will make eyes really small. And I just encourage you, open up your pictures and have fun. So, um, so here we go, we're gonna get his eyes back to normal again, sorry honey. And, uh, and now we're gonna go um, back to the first tool that we've been using the whole time and we're gonna take down his shirt here where it's up a little bit high. We're gonna take that bump out of his shirt on this side. And, uh, and then we're gonna extend his neck in a little bit, which just makes someone look a little bit thinner. And uh, just from a subtle uh, move of the mouse, it's such an amazing feature, guys. I really encourage you to play with this and, uh, and have a good time. So here you'll see the um, before and after, unbelievable. So on behalf of Vine Images, I just want to thank you so much for joining us for Tuesday's tip and we will see you next week. Have a great day guys. Bye bye.